So let's say, for example, you have a lot of information that you want to share with other members. So if that is the case, then instead of sending a message, you might want to create a post. So I'm here in my public channel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a post. And to do that, we're going to click on shortcuts right here on this little icon. So once you go over here, you can see that there's an option called create a post or you can go over here and set and uh, it'll uh, show up post just like this. So let's just click on create a post and what happens that is another one window will open up or another browser uh, tab will open up in case you're using the web version and then you are able to create a post and post is like a document that can be shared. So a lot of information can be there. So here the post window has been loaded out. So what you can do is you can add in a title. Let's say, for example, you can write something like uh, rules for this uh, channel, just like this. Uh, so you can just type in rules for this channel, right? And once you do that, you can see that the uh, uh, title has been changed as well. And what I can do is I can share this post with the other groups as well if I want to. But in this case, let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to uh, create something like a rule. These rules should be followed just like this. So let's say, for example, and maybe I want to create a list so I can do that uh, easily as well. So I can say something like uh, keep your notifications on just like this. And you can also see the editing option right here. This is more like a document as you can see. So you can go around, go around to notifications just like this. So keep your notifications on. And then let's say, for example, uh, do not tag a lot of people at once just like this. Uh, and you can see that it underlines the errors. So you can right click and then correct this out as well. So not tag a lot of people at once and do not messes uh, after 8 p.m. Let's say, for example, these are the rules. So you can select this out. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go around, select this, and you see all the formatting options which are available right here. So you can bold this out, you can italicize it, underline it. You can even strike it through right over here, or you can link it out to a web page, or you can insert an HTML code. So this is what I want. I want it to be an ordered list or uh, you can also make it a bullet point just like that and it looks much more better presented or you can turn it into a checklist as well so if you're trying to give something like a task then you can give a checklist so make sure that you do these so i can type in something like this and let's say i can type in something like task one right over here and then task two right over here so what I can do is I can simply select this out and I can go around here and turn it into something like a checklist so that the users will be able to check this out right over here. So now uh, what we can do is we can go around and arrange it, maybe make it bold or you can want to make it a uh, heading. Let's say, for example, heading two or heading one, you can select that out. So now it's time to share the post. I'm just going to click on share. And then I'm going to share this on to uh, the public channel itself. I can also let others edit the post. So in case they have to tick out the task one and two, uh, they will have to share this out just like this. And then you can uh, create a public link to share outside of Slack. So let's say, for example, you want to create a public link to share outside of Slack. You can turn this on as well. You can add in a comment, something like see this and you can share this out. So once you share out, what happens is that the post has been created and this has been uh, shared as a file. So if you were to go on to the information section of uh, that particular channel, then you go on over here on to the right on the file section, you'll be able to see that the rules is there. So they'll be able to access out the rules just like that. And you can, uh, they can also see the tasks and everything else right here. So let's say you want to share the file somewhere else. What you can do is you can simply go on to the file browser from the more section and here you'll find all the posts. So over here, you can see that there's the rules for this channel. So you can just go around and share the file. And let's say you want to share it with certain people or you want to share it uh, to video tutorial section right here. So simply click on share and what happens is that the same post has been shared out to the other group. So if you have a large chunk of information that you want to share, you can simply use this option inside of Slack. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, 
and subscribe.